For any one of you that may think that you'll be the next Ridley Scott or Steven Spielberg, Film North Ants 2011 will be taking place this September. And organisers are looking for people from the town to submit their own videos, which, if chosen, will screen at Cineworld at what's been described as a red carpet event. To talk about the event, we have the pleasure of speaking in the studio to Festival Chair Lily Cantor. Hello, Lily. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. How long has this festival been running? Uh, we're now in our fourth consecutive year, so it started back in 2008. Really? So it's been going on for some time then? Yeah. So you're looking for entrants from all sorts of age groups. Do you think that this will help create a certain amount of diversity in the type of films that you receive? Yeah, I think um, if you look at previous years, the kind of entries we've got have been really broad ranging. We've got, I think the youngest entry we had was from a eight-year-old um, all the way up to sort of retired people who are making films. So we get a really interesting mix of films. Really? So that's interesting. Um, what type of rules and regulations are there regarding these type of f movies that are entered? Okay, so there's certain things that people um, have to stick to. Um, the main thing is they can be no more than five minutes. So um, it's quite a, a discipline that you have to be able to make a film that, that will you know, make sense within five minutes. The other main rule is it's got to be shot within Northamptonshire. Um, so we don't want people going off to Milton Keynes or Birmingham or wherever to film. It's very much about promoting the county. And the other key rule is that all the films have to be uploaded to YouTube and then the URL from YouTube needs to be emailed to the Film North Hunt's email address and that way we can upload them onto our website. There's a few other little rules but the sort of finer details are all on our website. So what was the initial act, uh, what was the reason for the initial act of promoting the county of Northamptonshire? Um, I think initially, when I sort of first came up with the idea of this, it was it was just really, there wasn't anything like this in the area. You had to go further afield, there's sort of a festival in Leicester, um, and obviously quite a few down in London, but there was nothing specifically in Northamptonshire. And I think when I was working on the Chronicle and Echo, I sort of noticed that there were a lot of people out there making films. Um, and also there's the event, uh, the film lab at the Picture Drone, which is very popular. Um, and just kind of thought, right, we need to be showcasing these films at a kind of a, an awards way, event and giving people recognition in, in sort of awards. So it kind of just evolved organically, really, from there. So who's the judging panel then? Do you have anyone as harsh as people like Simon Cowell? <laughs> um, Ooh, I, I wouldn't like to sort of uh, say that any of them were that bad, but um, we've got four judges this year, um, and they're all um, come from a film background, so they're a mixture of um, producers, uh, film critics, filmmakers themselves, um, and film lecturers. Um, so we've got Tim Coley from the University of Northampton, Becky Adams, who um, runs her own production company, um, there's also Bruce Green, who is the um, BBC film critic. And the final one is Stacey Swift, who's a filmmaker, who won um, the Judges' Choice Award in Film North Hands um, a couple of years ago. So he's kind of, I suppose you could say he's the uh, Cheryl Cole. He'd hate me for saying that, but he's the Cheryl Cole of the competition because he's kind of been there and done it. And now he's using his expertise as one of the judges. Uh, that's quite funny. I don't know what I don't know what he'll think to that, but we'll, I'm sure you'll soon find out. So there are plenty of opportunities that can come from this festival that you provide then. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, people who've won in the past, um, some of them have got commercial work out of it. You know, companies have contacted them and asked them to do corporate films for them. Other people have gone on to produce their own uh, feature length films. Um, and, you know, people just get to network and get to sort of know more people in the industry from the people who come to the red carpet event. Um, the other thing that's new this year is that we've actually got a partnership with a festival in Berlin, which is called the Favourites Film Festival. Um, and any film that, that wins the public vote in Film North Hands is then submitted 
to their festival. Now, that doesn't guarantee 100% that it will be screened, but it allows you to enter their um, competition as well. So how did you manage to forge that partnership with the Favourite Film Festival then? Um, They actually got in contact with us um, about six months ago um, they were fairly new and they just been searching on the internet for film festivals that had a public vote because most film festivals are, are based on judges ours we have initial stage where the judges draw up a shortlist but then it goes on to the public to decide um, so they just found us um, and we we were the only one in the UK that um, were doing this kind of event so um, they asked if they could partner with us. Do you think that um, the help of social networking sites helped your advertisement get out there for people like the Favourite Film Festival to seek your partnership? Um, I think they probably found our website, but i definitely say that this year in particular we've really tried to push it, particularly on Facebook and Twitter, so if you if you search for Film North Hands on Facebook and Twitter, you'll find us. And we're definitely trying to tap into all those other groups um, that are out there on social media and let them know what we're doing. We can put up links to the films that are coming in, links to our website, links to media coverage. Um, and it's just really instant, so it's great for building up networks. So does it take a lot of time and effort to August this type of event then? It sounds very, um, <laughs> what's the word, very... Uh-oh. Time consuming. Yeah, time consuming, <laughs> stressful. Um, it is an all year round um, event, really, in terms of the organisation. As soon as one's finished, you're getting the feedback from that and then thinking, right, how can we plan for next year? We also have to raise our own funds, so it's like, how are we going to um, get the money together? What sponsors are we going to work with? Um, and we've got a committee now, so there's about eight of us that kind of meet once a month and plan and then go off and do our individual things. The biggest thing is promotion. It's just letting people know that we're here, that anybody can enter. It doesn't matter if you've never even picked up a camera before. It doesn't matter if you use your mobile phone. Um, you know, just um, just have a go, really. So that'll be why inspiration are here for you. Yep. Give out a bit Get of promotion. The word out. So what's the closing date for applicants then? It's August the 14th, so all the uh, URLs need to be emailed to us by that date. And will will uh, late applicants be accepted? No, they will not. Definitely not. No. Right, so how much does it cost to attend the actual event? Well, the event itself is a invite-only event, so basically if you get through to the final round... Um, and your film gets selected to be shown um, at Cineworld, um, then you will get a certain number of tickets allocated to you, um, and and they're free of charge. But um, hopefully what we'll do is we'll have some tickets up as um, competition sort of prizes so people can, you know, attempt to win tickets to the show, and again, they won't have to pay for those. Yeah, so that's a brilliant opportunity then. Well, thank you very much for coming in today, Lily. No problem. And I wish you the best of luck with this year's film festival. Can I just put in a quick plug for the website? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> um, for full details, um, it's www.filmnorthhance.co.uk. Well, Lily's just stole my cue because I was <laughs> due to say. So that's Lily Cantor speaking about Northhance Film Festival. For anyone looking for more information, you can visit the festival's website, which is www.filmfestival.co.uk. UK, like said by Lily. You can also visit the festival's Twitter account as well. Don't forget the closing date is the 14th of August and that's back to you in the studio, Paddy.